Welcome to a video from thedigitallife.com. We have the Lenovo Mixed Reality headset to test today. Um, this is the Windows Mixed Reality. It runs with your PC, laptop, and you get the full virtual reality. These come from different brand. manufacturers. This is Lenovo one, Acer do one, HP do one, Dell do one, and uh, this is the Lenovo one. So I'll show you a bit about the headset, the controllers, what you kind of what the plugs and everything else do, and then we'll dive in and do some testing with it as well. So first of all, this is the headset. It's got an uh, adjustable design like that, so you can put it on like this and then tilt it up like that. Because one thing you, with these is you can't see through them. It's not like a hollow lens where you can see straight through. Uh, you can't. You're totally closed off. So when this is on, you're totally closed off. And everything you see is generated by the, the, the PC. It's very comfortable. That's the first thing to say. I've been wearing it for a long period of time. No issues at all. It's got a nice foam insert all, all the way around. You do get a little bit warm with this headband on the top but that's about it really and you've got an adjustable uh, strap at the bottom so you can adjust the, the head side. So it's comfortable to wear, put it on, lock it in and it filters out most of the ambient light, uh, maybe a little bit around the bottom. It's just getting it the right angle for you so that the screens are in focus. So these come with two connectors, there's a HDMI port and a USB 3 port. So whatever PC you're going to need, uh, you're going to use, has to have those ports on there. And I'll show you how on your laptop, I'm going to be using this uh, Dell laptop down there, I'll show you how you can check to make sure your PC is compatible before you buy one of these. The other thing it's got is a headphone port, it's a com combination of stereo headphone and microphone. So it doesn't include a headset, headset with it. So the, something like these headphones, which has got a microphone built into it, the kind that you can get for your, your iPhone or your phone, will work fine. You don't have to have one of those, you can use the PC's uh, laptop speakers or your sound system plugged into your PC, speakers and mic. But it's good to have the mic on there because you can use it with Cortana, you can, take, you can say, hey Cortana, open Microsoft Edge and it'll open it. So it's handy to have that. The other thing it comes with is two of these, the controllers. These um, Lenovo controllers but they're actually a standard design so all of the manufacturers have the same controls on there. These are one of my favourite parts about the whole thing. They are uh, nice and lightweight, they've got uh, wrist straps on them but once you get into using them you can really control what's going on in mixed reality so you can grab an app, move it over there, you can select things, you can even use the on-screen keyboard. So they've got a, a, a directional pad, uh, a trackpad, the Windows key, the menu key and a trigger and there's a trigger, sort of right trigger and a, a trigger off the back so during the operation you, you need these all the time. Some apps don't have to, they, they use a sort of a system where you can look at something but most of the time you'll be using those. These are Bluetooth and there's a Bluetooth pairing button under there. Okay so here on my uh, PC there is an app called the Windows Mixed Reality Checker which you can get from the Windows Store and uh, I load that. This checks whether your machine is capable of running mixed reality. So it's very simple. I just run it like that. And there you go, you can see. So everything's fine on this one apart from the graphics card, the GTX 650, um, Microsoft recommends 655M. Um, there's two modes you get in with Windows Mixed Reality. There's one that runs at 60 uh, hertz frame rate a second, or one at 90. You've got the higher spec, it runs at 90, the lower spec runs at 60. I think this is running at 90, but it doesn't actually say, um, and that's probably related to that. So, what specs you need? So, you, this is it, you need that GTX driver. It will work with integrated um, graphics card, just that your results will vary. I think the actual Windows Mixed Reality environment runs fine, on relatively low spec, it's when you start to get the third party apps and games like uh, Halo Recruit, things like that take more processing. I've noticed some um, slowing down of the frame rate when you're getting these higher requirement applications, but the basic operation system is fine. Um, so, this is i7, you need an i7, you need 8 gig of RAM, this is 16, that's fine, and you need the Windows 10 for Creators Update, which um, you can get that through Windows Update, or if you haven't got that and it's, and it's not been offered you, there are a few uh, tricks. And if you go on the digitallifestyle.com and do a search for Windows 10, how to get Windows 10 for Creators Update, you'll find out how to get that now. Okay, so everything's fine on this machine. So um, let me connect it up. HDMI port in, 
USB 3 and that's it for the connections on the PC and there you go that's loaded up the program now the headset will be now live um, and we'll have the sound and everything through I can probably turn the sound up a bit so we can hear that through here now there are a couple of things you can do there's a you, within the pro within Mitchell you can walk around your environment so what you can do you can set up how your room is configured so that you don't effectively fall out and bang into the wall or bang into something so I was using it in sit down mode but let's we're going to set this up in in standing mode so what you do you stand in front of your laptop and you walk around the room where you can walk freely and then it has that little virtual border that you can see in the program so you don't end up falling over so I'm going to configure this now okay so I'm here now um, it's asking me to create the boundary so the first thing you do is make sure the space is clear in the room and this is our room and the boundary we've got obviously you've got the length of the trailing cable which you can see here you can't exceed that area so even if you have a warehouse you can't exceed the length of this cable okay so let me try tracing the room now so I'll start over here Walk around here. No, it's still not working. Okay, so you can see it's created a little circle, or a little rectangle, uh, of this space I walked around just here now. So I accept that, and that puts the virtual barrier in front of you when you've got the headset on, which I'll show you in a sec. So that is the PC side on now. So the other thing to do is you need the controllers, hold down the Windows key, it turns them on. If you hold down the Windows key for more than two seconds, well, it turns them off. You can see these light up quite nice, and that's how it knows where to place them. So I'm going to switch the headset mode now. I'm in my mixed, mixed reality environment. You can see the two, um, heads, the two controllers in front of me. You might see a little flashing red light. I don't think you'll see that, actually. That's the... Um, that's the I've got a video mode to record this. So this white line which you can see faintly is the area that I can stand in. So um, check my camera around, tell me if I'm going too far to where this laptop is. Is the laptop around here? Yeah. Yeah, see so that border now is the room, this area that I mapped out before. I'm safe to walk around this area without crashing into anything. So that's what that mapping out is for. So how do you walk around? Well, as you can see, I'm walking around this area. I don't want to go down there, there's steps. But if I wanted to go over uh, into this landing area here, I can use the thumb, you can see it there, and teleport myself over here. Or I could just walk like that, but then of course you've got the physical, you can't keep walking because of the, the wall, so you teleport is the best way. So, as you can see here, this is my virtual house. It's called the Cliff House, Microsoft call it. and any Windows apps, UWP apps, you can run in here. For example, here's the weather app. So let's go over here. So here you can see the weather app. If I click on that, that'll load the weather app as if it was in Windows, just in normal Windows, and I can interact with it exactly with the two controllers. What I can also do is, okay, I can um, move it around. So if I want a giant Windows wall, weather wall, there we go, I can have that there. And of course, within the border I can walk up to it and if I want to get really close I can just teleport here and I can have a look over here I can come over and look at this bit it really does feel like you're in the environment it's very uncanny it's, it's three down it is proper 3D as well so it has got that and that's in the way here so let's stick that back over there now let's go over into this room there's my email there's Skype I've got some media down there while I'm looking at it Here's Microsoft Edge floating in the sky, and I can click into there. Here's the virtual keyboard. This is so easy to use. So I'm just clicking and pointing it. As you can see, it's picking it up like that. It's a really good on-screen keyboard. It's it's very effective, and that works great. So now I can stand here now, and I can do my full browsing experience uh, through Microsoft Edge, and I can have this browser window as big as I like, I can move it over there, I can stretch it out, I can really go for it and I think uh, there's okay. I'm just using these more apps, I can press the window and see a little on screen windows 
menu and I can load chaps. If I press that it stops the recording so I won't do that now. So uh, that is my edge. What about going to some media? So down here I've got my media room and I've got the movies and TV app over there. I've got the channel 4 app here. So I was watching the Formula 1 before on this giant screen uh, and that's the 4 OD app. I've also got Netflix over there. Depending on what I'm doing, I can switch these around. I can't launch any of these right now because it stops the recording working because of the copy protection that the uh, content distributors do. So if uh, I want to watch Netflix, I can go and sit on the couch over here or Channel 4 and watch that and I've got a media in front of me. And um, I'm stood up now, but of course I could just sit down and uh, I'll be away. Where I showed you that border mode, you don't have to do that, this boundary mode with the walls. You can have it in sit down mode, which is to be honest, I use that quite often, just sit on the couch and put this on and you don't have this option to walk around but it's really good to sit down and watch your media, you watch the formula on that or watch a movie, watch whatever you want on there. So this is my media area. Um, we've got some other apps I've put up on here, Paint 3 ds Minecraft's there. Any of the Windows GWP app works. Uh, Twitter I've got over there. Over here, in this other room, I've got, there's the Windows desktop. This is a Windows app that I wrote and it's for checking for the latest build of Windows 10 if you're a Windows designer. And I never have envisaged using this uh, with mixed reality, but because it's a standard Windows 10 UWP app, it just works. Same goes from remote desktop. I can remote desktop onto something and uh, I can connect to a server or any, anything I want and uh, I've got the full desktop on there. And I'm going to show you that a little bit more in a separate video. There's the Windows Store over here. I can uh, teleport over here and go on a walk I can walk over here and you can see all the Windows Store apps. I can download any Windows Store apps and these work great on here. And you can go into that there with Windows Mix, uh, Reality Experiences and load those up. I should say as well, Cortana works on these. Hey Cortana! Open Photos app. Hey Cortana, what time is it? It's 11.41 a.m. Oh, there we go. Oh, Let's have Cortana over there. Okay, um, well there's a hamster. My son put this on, didn't you Jack? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, and the hamster's enjoying a, a bit of rub there. And actually we've got that from the Holograms app that uh, Microsoft have, uh, where you can have all these different holograms. So there's uh, a lizard on a bike, and I'm going to put it there. Why you want a lizard on a bike? I'm not quite sure, but you can you can design these yourselves with using the Paint 3D app. I think I put a spaceship up. Yeah, there's a spaceship up over there as well. This is another Windows app. These are just standard Windows 10 apps, all these. These aren't designed for mixed reality. There are some that are, and these um, have placed these here. You've got Halo Recruit, which is a 3D Halo game. I'm not going to record these in this video because um, they're a sort of separate thing to look at, but Halo Tours is definitely recommended. I might try and grab some screenshots of that. You actually can go to the Colosseum in Italy and see what it looks like now, and then they show you what it looks like back in time. And it's a great experience. We've got a, a 360 viewer, so anybody makes 360 uh, videos or photos, you can view that through this as well. So this is my cliff house. I can basically choose to place these apps whenever I want. I've got Groove Music, I've got email, and so you just press the Windows key and you can launch any, and you can walk around. So this is the virtual environment. There are more apps coming, like the Holo Tour, that are absolutely amazing and well worth checking out. But this is the basics on here. So as you can see, this Dell laptop is coping with this quite well, there's no major issues and uh, yeah, it's looking great. I can go to my photos app here, just clicking on it, it starts it up like that and there's photos and you can see that I've been taking some photos while we're here in mixed reality. You see I can scroll around, I should say, show you that as well on Edge. Um, so here's Microsoft Edge and I can use it, hold the trigger down and, and scroll around and select things on here. There you go, there's how to get the Windows 10 full creative update. But the on-screen keyboard, as briefly showed you there, is really good. Well, uh, simple to use and uh, very clicked to type. So I would definitely recommend using that if you're on there, you don't have to worry about the keyboard. Of course you can dictate via Cortana as well. Yeah. 
So that's my first impression of this, really fun, really enjoying it. I think sit down mode is great if you're on the sofa and you want to uh, just sit down and interact with it. But I do like the fact that you know, I can go straight down to my media room and uh, you know, start watching my media. This is a great environment and I think definitely this is for the, something of the future. So thanks for watching this video. Check out our other videos on the digitalized.com, including one on using Windows 10 apps.